morning motivation. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Arthur Ashe. Today's hike is sponsored by Lousy Sleep. Good sleep tends to be correlated with better mental health. See, see that? That's the picture of mental health right there. See, look, I, I woke up and I straightened my hat and you know, made sure that my buff was well balanced around my face so I could show you what a good time it is out here when you're sleeping on roots and rocks yeah cheers my enjoy the views last night i walked my butt off to get to water so put in an extra five miles for a total of 25 miles yesterday oh the irony today is my 25th day of hiking, which means da, 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 I'm 25% done. No, because I'm off pace, off the pace I want to keep. I am at mile marker 436. 25% of this hike is 550. But I believe that I can make it up. Now, I, by the end of today, I'll be less than 100 miles off the pace, right? So, I mean, it's just so... <sighs> I have high hopes for today. It's 33 miles, 34 miles to Damascus. And that is a place of cheeseburgers, soda pops, hostels. I probably won't make it today, but you never know. dog you were a 12 year old birthday present for me from my dad i love you after three days you were going outside to use the bathroom you learned several tricks that i taught you it made me feel like i had some kind of an aptitude for dog training but you were a sweetie you were a smart dog and i definitely needed you and your companionship as an early teenager uh, i went away for a week and you decided that you wanted to be my mom's dog and I understand. But that being said, I loved you. I love your companionship. And I hope you're still watching me do what I do. Morning motivation. People are rewarded in public for things that they have practiced in private for years. Anthony Robbins. It's day 26. I finished day 25 at mile marker 460, which means it's 10 miles to Damascus. Lots of refill and uh, you know, fun to be had in Damascus. I'm planning on just making a short stop and I'll be returning for a longer visit in a day and a half with Aaron. I guess I'd take like two Neros and your own. Anyway, whatever lingo. 
So I walked 24 miles yesterday. I did intersect with five EMTs that were helping a hiker on the trail. They got dehydrated and you know, perhaps had heat exhaustion. He had oxygen and they're trying to give him sugar and water. And well, I mean, you got to take care of yourself out here. Uh, and it can be very difficult sometimes. So, no judgment on my part. The last couple of days in the morning, I've been dealing with my own negative emotions, you know, self pity, temper, feelings of loneliness, you know, despair. Like, you looked at what, what am I doing? Nobody cares. And, you know, I mean, really, if I'm trying to think rationally, should anybody care? I mean, this is kind of a selfish pursuit, I suppose. Good, nice. Got to get one of those in. I'm really good at that. The sandals, though, protect my toes. Don't ask me how or why. Uh, anyway, 10 miles to Damascus, and uh, I hope it doesn't rain. It rained a little last night. We'll all see what happens. Ciao. In keeping with the theme, I want to say shouts to you, Bailey the dog. You were the greatest and best ever. Tribute. You were the first dog that I taught to jump through my legs 12 weeks before my daughters were born. And you were such a great big older sister. And you taught him so many lessons. I have no regrets. I love you. And I hope you're watching me out here now, walking all them miles for you. At late morning motivation. The only way to avoid criticism is to do nothing, say nothing, be nothing. Aristotle. Hi. This is day 28. Do I look fresh? I felt fresh a couple of miles ago. So here's what happened. Day 26, I walked the 10 miles to get into Damascus. What makes that significant is that it was... This is the first through hike that I've been into the fourth state, so I entered the fourth state. Well, that's kind of cool. I took a half day, went into Abingdon, and spent that evening and the day of the 27th with my wife Erin. And now here I am, back out on the trail, mile 472-ish, and ready to attack again. I won't see Aaron for about 12 or 13 days, but when I do, my hike is going to be a lot more supported. There'll be slack packing, some opportunity for me to make up some miles, which I feel like I've lost. But right now I'm feeling refreshed and ready to go. So let's go get some views. Here's your pun for the day. Hail, yeah. Yup. It's raining and pouring and frozen rain, snowing chunks, thunder and lightning. Hey, if you come to this party, you better know you're gonna get wet. This is the Virginia Creeper Trail old train tracks that's now converted into a bike, hike, walk trail. Oh, cool rocks over here. Wide path. Tasty benches. Looks like that might lead to a campsite. Let's take a delightful stroll down the Virginia Creeper Trail, shall we? These are the critical moments that we have to ask ourselves. Are we having fun yet?
after all that rain, there's this. Wrap on day 28. Monster rainstorm. Boo! Sunset. Wow. Didn't think I'd catch one quite as cool as the one that I got a fire scald bald or knob. It's not what it's called. You know, the one from earlier. Being specific. I am going to end up at a the 493 three mark 492 and a half 493 that'll give me oh, around 22 days 22 miles for the day and i can tell that i have been really pushing myself because i'm super lightheaded but i felt good after a day and a half of rest and relaxation getting to see loved one aaron and the pooch oreo so i will look forward to continuing this adventure tomorrow. I've got to set up camp. Hopefully I get to do it before it goes dark. the second Boston Terrier in my life but you're the first one in my heart that's why I got your paw prints right here to prove it you are the team mascot you brought the team together we rally around you you are the sweetest pooch that I have ever met and I really love the fact that you're so willing to to learn and to play and to love and you're such a snuggle pup that uh, you know I, I love you and I can't wait to see you again